No, that's not you, dude. All right, y'all. Just got out here. Doing some surf fishing today. This is actually my first time. Let's see what we got. Hopefully a little whiting. That's what we're going for. Yes, sir. Whiting? That's my first whiting, everyone. Check it out. We're out here today on the surf. That's my boy, Gerard, over there. He's never actually caught a fish before, so we're trying to get him on his first fish ever. And you guys already know this guy, saltwater born over here. What about PB? Before, PB yeah, this is actually a PB whiting. All right, y'all, let's go get this guy cut up and send him out on the big old pin. All right, and so all we're throwing out there for these little rigs is small piece of the gulf, or the gulf, the gulp, right here, surf bites. It's like gulp's version of fish bites. And uh, we'll take a little piece of shrimp, throw that on there as well. I don't know if they're that close to the beach yet. There's still a lot of whiting out here. Get it. All right, y'all, the whiting bite is on fire right now. Cameron has brought in two while I've been getting this guy butchered up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my uh, whiting line back out there really quick before we get our big old setup set up. Just getting about knee deep. Oh. Oh, that one just got me above the waist. There you go. Not the best cast, but again, we can't really whip it out there super hard. So just open that bale, walk her back. And uh, the way we've been getting hit, should be getting hit like that. So probably by the time I get the big rod set up, we'll have another widening on. And here's the setup for our big rod right here. The 11 foot Carnage with the pin slammer on there. 6,500, 300 pound test leader. Got a four ounce spider weight, should hold down in that surf. And I'm actually gonna wait for Cameron to get his line readied up. Cause I've never surf fished before. So there's a lot of talk of new terminology, like get it in the gut and you know, blah, blah, blah. I just really don't know what he's talking about. So I'm gonna have him go out there and show me. I do understand that we gotta cast this bad boy and we want it to land in the gut. Just don't know where that is. So uh, we're about to go find out. Woo. We have finally arrived here. I'm gonna try and time my cast with the swells. Here we go. Did I cross you? Okay, cool. All right, y'all. Now we walk her back. <laughs> All right, y'all, we're ready to freaking rumble. Here goes one of these things, bro. What is this, y'all? Got a big old gelatin looking thing. There's apparently a bunch of these. Someone walked past and said they saw a bunch of them washed up. So uh, those are out in the surf somewhere. The only thing it looks like to me is jelly, and it looks like a jellyfish, maybe. And I, I just hate all things that sting. Bees, wasps, stingrays, jellyfish. All of it really sucks, but I guess it's just the price you pay to get on whiting and have fun out here at the beach while fishing. So that's what we're gonna deal with. I mean, dude, it was getting hit. This is Jared casting from my POV. Might have had my first fish. You really never know. I mean, it feels like I got a fish on. Either some nice seaweed or a little guy that's getting pulled in. Come on. Looks like home to your parents. Come on. You can keep all the light, Uh, maybe not. Oh, wait. We got one. Let's go. We got a big one. Oh, he's thick. Look at that guy. And some. Something. <laughs> Reporting live. You know how it is. Just making it out the gutter. First time surf fishing? Hey, dude, that's not a bad job. Oh, it already came out the We got one whiting right there. Look, our second whiting of the day. 
Cameron's already caught like three, and that's our big rod. Like that yeah, go ahead. Just be careful for the dorsal fin. It can poke up and stab you. You don't gotta be afraid of him now. He ain't gonna bite you. Well, dude, I don't wanna just, you know. All right, we'll go get him back in there. Come on, we gotta capture the release. Don't be scared, Jared. Dude, he's like, I don't wanna get poked. It's not, it doesn't even hurt that bad. Yeah, dude, so a guy. Woo! Where'd he go? He's right there. RGC on the scene here with Cameron. I missed it. I think, dude, he came off. No way. Oh, All right, I'm thinking, you know what? This is a hard hit. If it's a gaff top, we gotta keep the tradition. Ooh. You bring your jet boil? No. Dude, that was a hell of a bite. Yeah, the rod was bent over. It stayed, I don't think he's on here. That That's sucks. Like, no, it is on there. It's right there. World record whiting? State record whiting right here, dude. Oh, dude, there it is. It's got a pop. No, it's in the whiting. I mean, that's a that's the biggest one today. Another whiting. Dude, that one's teeny. The bait, bro. It's killer. All right, Jared, let's see you get this release. You finally are learning to handle them. Come on, get it out. <laughs> it's like stuck in his lip. You got it completely circle. Yeah, there you go. Alright, come on. You're a grown man. I'm a grown. Hey, I'm a grown man. This is gonna be a better release. Alright, you ready? Oh, he's swimming with the current, bro. That's what he likes to do. Alright, guys, we got one. We got another one here. She looks big. You never know. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh look at that thickness of the curve. It's a nice fish, dude. Oh look at that. Here we go guys. Let's get up close. Let's get up close and personal. Let's get up close and personal. Look at the drag on that thing. Give it another pull. Let's get a pull for the beeline. Yeah, look at the drag on that thing, man. Good God. Oh she's thick. I don't know, we don't know what it is. We don't know what it is. Is a big whiting? I'm not peeping it. Oh, if you want, you want a park on it? I'll come over to the tree if I pull it. I wonder if it is. Where's it at? Try to pull it up. Try to pull it up. Right out here. Oh, look at that. She's thick. Let me get up close. Let me get up close. That's a tilapia. She's there's no way that's a black drum. It's black drum. I thought they have stripes. When they're little, they have stripes. Oh, look at that guy, dude. He's reeling in the big ones, man. Four and a half pounder right there. I know y'all can't see that because the sun, but yeah, that's a really nice fish here. So Cameron has already got a whiting in his bag. He caught a nice, probably about a one pound, 1.5 pound whiting. So we're gonna ikajime this guy really quickly. It's kind of tough to ikajime the. Uh, like drum but i figure it's better than letting them suffocate in the ice chest so we'll get this guy cleaned up put him in cameron's bag and then y'all can go check out on his channel he's gonna be doing a catch and cook for these and uh yeah they'll probably turn out really good so awesome day awesome day out here yeah it's on. another whiting right here probably that looked like a whiting huh Ugh. big fish oh, dude, she's thick she's thick about nice an eight. That would, be a good, that would be a good bait right oh, there. And I got the bait on it too, still. You gotta love that, you know? Clean catch you really right there. Clean catch. There we go, y'all. Look at that beautiful black drum fillet right, right there. We're about to get this pan heated up. We got some, we got some butter somewhere. Here we go. Got our butter. We got our fish over here. The blackened seasoning. I don't think I showed y'all that. And we're about to just whip this up, pan, sear our fillets. We're gonna whip up a beautiful fish sandwich. It's a great way to end our day on the beach. All right, look at those beautiful fillets right there. Got the blackened seasoning coming in hot right now. It's about to go on these. Put those puppies on. There we go, that looks nice. Gotta get a thick layer on them. <laughs> All 
right, those are coming along. And then if we come over here to the pan, that thing is ripping hot. Hopefully y'all can see that oil is actually burning. So pan is super hot. We're gonna get it with some butter. We got olive oil in there as well. Boom, here goes the first filet. Dude, that looks blacker than black. And y'all know what they say. The blacker, the blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice. You learned that from Friday. All right, if we get if we get canceled for that, I mean, this was a good run, I guess. Blacker than black. It means it's good, guys. Blacker than black is good when you're using blacker blackening seasoning. Blacker seasoning. Jeez, we're getting into hot water over here. That is blackened right there. Look at it. That is blackened fish. That's gonna be so good. We got our breads over here. We got a little bit of Duke's mayo on each of these. You can either put butter, like some um, melted room temperature butter and spread that out on your bread. I like to use mayo because it's always room temperature, at least like the texture is. And yeah, we're gonna, maybe, yeah, okay, cut it down a little bit. And right here where we've been cooking our fish with that butter, that oil, all the blackened seasoning, and a little bit of the oil from the fish. And we're gonna use that, kind of soak it up with our breads. And we're gonna get these bad boys toasted up. I mean, that don't look bad. All right, y'all, here's the blackened fish. We got some black cheese. Drum. Blackened black drum, it's crazy. We got our breads nice and look at how beautifully toasted these are. All right, Cameron, go ahead and build one for us. I just wanna show them a beautiful build. It's great. You're gonna go with this. Yeah, you get could the have cream. two different types of sauces, but we're gonna go with the little and bottom. Not too much, because it'll get soggy. Beautiful. Some light little, little mm, the filet. Oh my god. On top. And then a big scoop on top of that. Look at that. That's Michelin. That's Michelin star right there. You better get that on your phone, buddy. Red. You ever see something that good again? The cut. The diagonal cut too. If you, you know, cut it, if you cut it like that, you're psycho. You're literally psychotic. Well, that's why it took me so long. I was debating how I should cut it, and I was like, oh, yeah. I don't want to get roasted for the non-diagonal cut. All right, in the reveal. Oh my gosh, that actually looks so good. All right, I'm gonna get myself one fixed up over here. We'll do a taste test and we'll end this video. All right, y'all, this right here is our sandwich. She's nice and fixed up right there. Get a look at that. Look at the sauce coming out. Try and find the best bite. This is a thick piece of fish. Took a big bite there for the first one. I always like to get a nice big bite. You can get all the flavors. I didn't one just bite, bite. Everybody knows the rules. I didn't. I didn't bite just the bread. Didn't get a little bit of fish. I took a big bite. I got all the sauce, the fish, the bread. It's delicious. It was a good sandwich. Honestly, if you mess up a fish sandwich, <laughs> you can't handle the black and seasoning. Look, but listen. Let me tell you this. <coughs> I jumped on the fish. <laughs> this dude's ruining my outro, bro. <laughs> Cut to that. Are you good? No, hey. Oh, what did the bone get you? Well, I don't know, but that just... Dude, bro, take a sip of water, bro. <coughs> it's gotta be the black and seasoning, dude. Um, I can handle my heat, dude. That, that was just, I choked right there. <laughs> Look, guys, we had a ton of fun. It was a good sandwich. All I was trying to say is if you mess up a fish sandwich, you're honestly, there's something wrong with you, to be real. But that besides the point, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. It helps a ton. Hit the subscribe button. Thank y'all again for clicking on the video. And I hope y'all have a great rest of y'all's day.